this is like my third time trying to film this video hopefully third time's a charm what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm doing my camp weekend win tbr and something i never thought i would say on this channel and it is this monotone vidaton tbr basically what happened is i was watching maddie's tbr video uh, princess of paperback i think um and she was talking about this book there are no saints by sophie lark and she said how excited she was for that book it's a new release and she said that like she liked everything that this author has put out and she was super excited to read that book so i kind of just kept it in my the back of my mind into something that maybe i could read one day so i kind of just left it like that but then literally a few hours after jessica from peace love book uploaded her reading vlog where she read that book and she raved about that book she said it was amazing she gave it five star so I kind of went online on Amazon, it's on Kindle Unlimited, it's like 300 pages, so I thought why not try it out? Who knows, maybe I'm gonna fall in love with some dark romance, I don't read a ton of dark romance. My experience with dark romance stop with Penelope Douglas, I've only read two books of hers and that's the furthest I went into dark romance. So that's pretty much it. So I'm not putting myself too much pressure for that readathon because like I said, I don't have a ton of experience with dark romance, but it is something that I kind of want to try out maybe. Who knows? I do like romance book. Um, I'm more of a fluffy kind of romance book, rom-com type romance book. But um, basically this marathon readathon is a week-long readathon hosted by Riley and Lainey. Both of their channel will be down below as well. It's from the 25th to the 31st of October and it's basically a readathon for you to read some smutty romance. Uh, there's a bingo card with a bunch of prompts and you have to fill up your prompts to get a bingo. Super easy. There is a group book called A Lady of Rock's Grave Manor. I don't know if I'm gonna read it. I don't have a copy. Uh, of it, I don't really plan on reading it right now. Uh, it is kind of a reverse harem with a girl wanting to get with a bunch of monsters. So, <clears throat> not really my thing. I don't think so. I've read one reverse harem and I love it. So, um, I don't know who to read it right now. If you read that book, you are automatically get a bingo. So it's pretty easy. Um, yeah, I don't have a book for every single prompt on the bingo card but i will talk to you guys about some books that i want to read i probably will not be able to get to all of these books because it's only a week long but um these are just some of the books that i have on my shelf that i kind of want to read so um like i said the first book that i want to read this for this week is going to be darno saints by sophie lark this is a serial killer romance which is kind of what intrigued me in the beginning it's basically about this serial killer who gets obsessed with this girl and it's their romance i guess i am really intrigued i love serial killer things i love true crime in general like i i'm, I'm excited to see how, how the book will play out i'm guessing you, you won't relate to the main characters right because who would want to be in a relationship with a serial killer but at the same time i i don't know i'm interested and i I want to read it. Like I said, it's only 350 pages. I think I can get, I think I can go through it pretty quickly. And basically, that prompts kind of goes for a lot of things. It goes for dark. It goes for 2021 release. It goes for um, new to you author. I think it goes maybe enemies arrival. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that book would fit for a few prompts. The next book that I have um, is a romance book, but it's not a smutty romance book, but it's still a book that I would want to read this week, and it's going to be Super and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. Um This is a YA fantasy romance book, basically. It's about this witch and witch hunter who, by some circumstances, get married to each other, and then they fall in love. I read the first book already, but I've been wanting to read the second book ever since but I want to reread the first book just because I've read this book so long ago so I think um, I would want to reread the first book and then get to the second book. i um, very excited about this one. I've heard some really good things about the second book as well so super excited. These books would fit once again for many enemies or rival, it would fit for paranormal. I'm fitting basically anything fantasy and paranormal so no. Um, maybe monsters because it's a witch. 
um, red, red or purple on the cover because this is red. Supernatural main characters that would work. So these books are some that I would want to get to this week. Another one that I'm really hoping to get to this week is going to be Pumblin and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I'll still haven't read this book. I really, really want to and need to. I just, I don't know why I've been putting this off. But this is a smudgy romance, I think. I'm pretty sure. So I'm excited. I might actually really try to get to this one this week. Um, it's about this maiden who is waiting for us, her ascension and then she falls in love with her guard, I think. Maybe. I've heard some amazing thing about this book. I've heard it's slow pace and slow burn as well. But I've heard that it's smudgy as well. So I'm excited. And this would fit for a paranormal. It would fit for red. Kind of on the cover. Um, is it vampires? I feel like maybe it's vampires. Maybe not. Maybe I'm like completely missing out. It would fit for um, supernatural main character maybe. Yeah, this is another one that I've been wanting to read. Hopefully. And I thought this would fit a little bit more for the smutty romance thing for the sweet of Tom. And then the last book that I'm kind of hoping to read, once again this is not a smutty but it would fit for a few of the prompts and it is Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff. I really want to get to this book this week. Like I said I don't know if I'm going to be able to read all of those but hopefully I will. It's about like these vampires who like are ruling the world but then there's, there's this one guy who would be able to defeat them. I'm excited. I've heard some amazing thing about this book. So very excited about this one. This would fit for 2021 release. It would fit for vampires. It would fit for a new to you author. It would fit for a supernatural main character probably. Maybe monsters because vampires are monsters. I don't know. Um, but yeah, very excited about this one. It's a monster of a book as well. Who knows if I can actually get to it this week. But I'm excited. Very excited. Yeah, those are kind of the books that I could fit for um, Smutaton, Vudaton. I'm like looking at my pile and there's not a lot of smut on this pile. I mean, besides the Empire of the Vampire, they're all romance books. So, you know, it's like I said, this is the extent of the smut that I can read in a book. Um, I'm dipping my toes with There Are No Saints. First step to everything, right? And then now I want to get into my camp weekend win TBR. This is a Vudaton run by Gabby Reeves and Olivia Reeves Elate. I will link everyone's channel down below. A lot of links in this um, video. But this is a Vudaton that is uh, run through from the 29th to the 31st of October. It's basically the weekend of Halloween. And there's four prompts for that Vudaton. I'm going to give you some um books for all of the prompts but i i'll tell you what i'm actually going to be reading the first prompt is green on the cover and i'm kind of cheating maybe but i'm thinking of reading pumpkin head by rainbow Warrel and fate erin hicks i read this book every single year on halloween day ever since this book came out which is like two years ago so it's not a very long tradition but it's one that i am you know, working on. Um, it's a really cute graphic novel. It's about these two kids that works at this at this pumpkin patch every year. But this is the last year that they're, they're going to be working there because they're both going to college. And it's basically Halloween night, and we are following them um, on their last day working there. It's a really cute, like story. The art style is I love. I love it. I love her. I love her so much. I have a friend who often does this, like, um, these two puffs, and I love it when she does it. Um, but yeah, I, I just, this book is so cute. So I'm counting this as a green, it's green on the cover, and it kind of has some green, right? Like, there's leaves, like, right here. This is kind of bluish green. I don't know if this works, but... I'm making it count. The next prompt is a group of teen as a main character and I want to talk to you guys about Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Tadari. This is a YA horror slasher book about this kid called Quinn May Book. Quinn May Book who moves into this little town where she quickly sees um, that the adult in this town kind of there's a weird thing going on between the adult and the teens in this town and then one day she goes to this like cornfield basically cornfield like festival with a few of her new friends and then there's this clown who comes in and it's 
something. I just read this book. I really enjoyed this one. It was a really fun YA slasher book. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was good. You are following the main character Quinn Maybrook, but you're also following a few of the other teens in this um, town, so that's why it would work. Number three is slasher, thriller, or horror. I mean, obviously there's a bunch her books that would fit on it. One that I haven't read that I really want to read is The Final Support Group by Grady Hendrix. Um, I read a few of his books this year basically and I loved both of them and so I've been really wanting to read his newest release. It's a slasher, I'm pretty sure, um, like horror book I think. I've heard some pretty good things overall. It's about this girl who is in the support group because they are all final girls. Um, and then one day, like, one by one, all of these girls are missing, I think. Like, something happens to them. So, I don't know. I loved Grady Hendrix's other book. So, this is one that I've been really wanting to read um, ever since. And I think it would be perfect for Halloween. And then the last book is a Camp Setting. So, read a book that has a camp setting. And the book that I want to talk to you guys about and the one that I'm most likely be gonna be reading is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. This is about a girl who um, went to a camp like years ago and then a few girls went missing and then um, years after she is asked to go back to that camp and things start happening I think. I'm not sure. I don't want to know too much about it. Um, but this is the last Riley Sager book that I have to read by him. I have read all of his other books. I have enjoyed most of them. So I'm excited to read this one. This fits also like basically a bunch of prompts, which is why this is the one that I will most likely be reading. It fits group of teens as main character. It fits slasher, thriller, or horror book. And then it fits also camp setting. Um, the only thing that it doesn't fit is green on the cover. Very excited about this one. Like I said, it's the one that I will most likely be reading. So yeah. So yeah guys, that's it. These are all of the books that I'm planning on reading this week for either the Smithertown Readathon or Camp Weekend Reading Readathon. Like I said, I will probably not go through all of these books, but there are just some books that I really want to read and I'm really hoping to read one day and also just some recommendation as well for you guys. Are you guys planning on participating in those Readathon? Let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!